Hello everyone. This video introduces you to the entity linking and the cross document co reference functionalities in the inception. We'll examine here how to set up a knowledge base and how to annotate a text using the knowledge base. We imagine a person who is interested in annotation mentions of wines from different regions and wants to link these mentions to a wine ontology. For this task, we use the Worldwide Ontology, which is provided as an example of an OWL ontology by Worldwide Web Consortium. Now, we start by importing the Wine Ontology into Inception. We go to the Settings page, Knowledge Base, and import a new Wine Ontology here. We give our Knowledge Base a name, and since we want to import a Wine Ontology from a file, we choose the Knowledge Base to a local one. It would be possible to connect to a remote base using the Sparkle protocol. Several well-known Knowledge Bases like Wikidata or DBpedia are already pre-configured and offer such Sparkle point points. Now we are importing a local wine ontology so we choose a file next we have to select a schema mapping with that is suitable for our ontology the mapping controls how inception should identify classes properties and instances how to navigate the class hierarchy and how to access labels and description there are predefined IRA mappings for common schematas such as rdf owl scores and wikidata alternatively the mapping also can be customized we choose the owl since the while ontology addresses to this schema that's it now we have our knowledge base set up and you can go to the knowledge base to view the knowledge base entities now we switch over to the annotation page to annotate mentions of wine in a text document we already have four different documents imported we go to the wine document first we choose the name entity link layer which has the configuration to the linking for knowledge bases suppose here we select text which has been annotated with body x region as you can see in the annotation detail panel on the right the default named entity layer has a feature called identifier which can be used to link the annotation to an item in the knowledge base by linking annotation to a knowledge base we essentially introduce a co-reference annotation which can even span over multiple documents let's head over to the knowledge base page now which shows us the mentions uh, with the central plane access to these core references. In the knowledge base page here we navigate to the wine to which we have linked our mention and in the mention tab we can see this all our mentions on the wine. So suppose we have a region and we annotated text with body x region in the text. So here you can identify the core reference relations for different documents. Now let's have a look at the options we have to control the entity linking process. For this we open the configuration of the identifier feature in the settings. So we choose the named entity layer and here is the identifier. The setting allowed values gives us an option to configure it whether it is allowed to link to classes or instances or to both. There are multiple knowledge bases configured in the project. It is possible to configure whether it is possible to link to any of them or to only to a specific one. Finally, it is possible to limit the scope of the linkable items to the instances of a particular concept. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more videos on Inception on our channel. Please hit the subscribe button to receive updates when we publish new videos introducing new exciting functionalities, use cases, news or other updates.